clashes between police and protesters in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir that have been over uh, the last two days have now intensified as members of the Awami Action Committee continue their march to capital Muzaffarabad via Ravalkot city. A policeman was killed and over 40 protesters and 11 policemen have been injured in the clashes. On the second day of the anti-government demonstrations, Pakistan President Asif Ali Zardari has summoned an emergency meeting. Protesters marched towards Muzaffarabad via Ravalko despite road blockades set up by the police. They held glass bottles and pelted stones at law enforcement agencies. Some resorted to burning government vehicles and manhandling. A large number of policemen deployed to stop the protests, responded with tear gas shelling and lati charge. The paramilitary personnel resorted to opening fire to disperse the crowd. The protesters decried infiltration by PTI workers. Earlier, demonstrators participated in the long march organized by the Jammu and Kashmir Joint Awami Action Committee or JAAC. Clashes broke out between the protesters and security personnel. The skirmish in Mirpur district left multiple injured and prompted Pakistani authorities to impose a curfew. Police detained at least 70 JAAC activists. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.